Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure Reshade for use with Windower. This tutorial is divided into two parts. The first part will show you how to configure Reshade for use with retail Final Fantasy XI servers, while the second part will show you how to configure Reshade for use with private Final Fantasy XI servers. So let's jump right in. The first thing you need to have is the Reshade Setup folder. This is included with every single one of my mods. Opening this folder, let's go ahead and launch the Reshade Setup executable. Once that's open, we need to select the game we'd like to configure. To configure Reshade for use with retail Final Fantasy servers, we need to navigate to our Play Online Viewer folder. This is typically located within Program Files x86, Play Online, Square Enix, Play Online Viewer. This is where you'll find pol.exe. Go ahead and double click on this file. At this point, we need to select which Direct3D API to configure. In this case, we're going to select Direct3D 9. In just a moment, it will ask you to download a collection of standard effects. Please select Yes. Once complete, it will ask you which effects you would like to install. Leave every single one of these checked and click OK. At this point, the configuration of Reshade is complete, so you can go ahead and close the wizard. Now, we need to copy and paste the rest of these files into your Play Online Viewer folder. Go ahead and select the d3d8.dll as well as the two INI files in here. We're going to copy those and paste them into the Play Online Viewer folder. Again, this is typically found within Program Files x86, Play Online, Square Enix, Play Online Viewer. And that's it! The configuration of Reshade for use with retail Final Fantasy XI servers is complete. Let's move on to the second part of the video. In this part of the video, I will show you how to configure Reshade for Windower for use with private Final Fantasy XI servers. Just as before, go ahead and launch the Reshade Setup folder. Again, this is included with every single one of my mods. Launch the Reshade Setup executable and click the Select Game button. This time, we're going to navigate to Program Files x86, where we're going to find the Windower 4 folder. This time, we're going to select the Xyloader executable and click Open. Select Direct3D9, and when it prompts you to download a collection of standard effects, select Yes. Just as before, we're going to leave all of these checked and click OK. At this point, we need to copy and paste the rest of these files into the Windower 4 folder. Windower, again, can typically be found within Program Files x86, Windower 4, where we'll paste these files. Congratulations! The setup of Reshade for use with Windower on private Final Fantasy XI servers is now complete. If we go ahead and launch Windower, we can test to make sure that this is working correctly. Once this opens, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner, there's a countdown of effects as they're being loaded. Please wait on this screen until this process is complete. At this point, you can now press Shift F2 to configure Reshade. Select Continue, and then select one of the Final Fantasy XI presets from the menu at the top of the configuration window. I'm going to select the beautiful lens effects. Continue, continue, finish. And then you can go ahead and close this. At this point, the configuration of Reshade is complete, and you can now enjoy Final Fantasy XI with all of the advanced effects that come with Reshade. If after closing the Reshade configuration menu, the controls in Final Fantasy XI do not operate correctly, simply click outside of the Final Fantasy XI window and then back in again, and this will resolve that issue. Once in game, we can now see that Reshade is operating correctly. One other thing I should mention is how to bind a key combination to enable and disable Reshade from within your game. Press Shift F2 to bring the Reshade menu up, and then click on the Settings menu towards the top. 
Just underneath the General tab, you'll see an Effects Toggle key. In my particular case, I typically bind this to Shift F12. Pressing that key combination on your keyboard will bind those keys. Closing the Reshade Configuration menu, we can now hit Shift F12 to enable and disable Reshade. I hope this has helped some of you configure Reshade on your own machines. Thanks for joining me today and take care.